speed that they have is you know top notch. You know you can see with the with the highlight blocks and highlight dunks and just I think with caught they didn't, didn't necessarily catch it by surprise, but they even ran on transition on makes. You know they would come down, we would score, they would score right away. And I think that's just great. What their coach is just teaching them, and like I said, they have the guys that can do it. You know they did a tremendous job tonight of doing that. So you've taken a lot of knocks um, in the long span of your career, but I don't think you've, I've seen you get hit this hard this often. Um, how are you feeling, and how does that play into the whole four foul situation with so much time left, and then going into overtime, trying to not pick up that last one? Uh, you know, you know, the hard hits are part of the game. You know, I came into the Big Ten for a little, you know, because there is hard hits, and, and it's a tough game every night. And you know, St. John's, you know, they came after us. Like I said, they, you know, they bumped us and we, they knocked us down. We knocked them down. That's just a part of the game. You know, you get back up and you compete and you look fighting another day. And did you feel like this was one of those games where you had to kind of use your veteran experience to, to take over in some of these crucial moments where you needed your team needed you? I, mean, I wouldn't go that far. You know, our team put, put myself and put me in position and DJ in positions to, to do the things that we needed and coach broke great plays for us to be able to execute. You know, our team did a, a tremendous job on that, especially on the rebound last. And, and DJ, what do you think? Contributed to your first half performance. You seemed like you missed one shot the entire half. So what was going on? There? Um, I think uh, my teammates did a good job finding me. Um, was just feeling it. You know, uh, hit some shots. They went in. Teammates did a good job of getting, uh, creating space for me to get open shots. I just sticking with confidence. For all three of you guys, as you guys strive to put Penn State basketball on the map, what does this win mean for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Like. <laughs> you know, it's obviously a great win for our program. We have so much respect for St. John's and Coach Lab and, and, and what they're doing. Um, but we treat it like it's the next game on our schedule. We have to continue to get better. And if we can continue to get better, we'll be the best team we can be by the end of the year. That has been our focus for three years, and it remains our focus. We, you know, it's November 29th. You know, we have a long way to go here. And the scary thing is, these guys can get so much better. I'm talking about these guys sitting with me and the guys that are in that locker room. And for the first time, we went in that locker room. There was a little bit of celebration, but not a lot. Not a lot. We expect to win games now. Coach, St. John's got back in the game with an 18-5 run. Your guys answer back, force to overtime. What does it just mean uh, for this team to be able to, you know, close out close games? Last year had a, you know, some trouble doing that at times. Well, there's a word we use, and I'll share it with you. It's called attitude. You know, a lot of programs, we say one, two, three defense. We say one, two, three attitude. It's the only thing we can control is our effort, our mindset, where we are. And I felt like for the first time, I saw it. I witnessed it in huddles. We weren't down on ourselves. We didn't have poor body language. We came in the huddle eager to listen and to execute and do whatever the game plan or whatever I said to do. That's, that's a team that's growing and maturing, and we have to continue on that path. For the two players, if you can't forget you sitting there for a second, um, Penn State, right or wrong, is known as a football school. St. John's, right or wrong, is known as a basketball school. So what do you guys think it means to win this game in this place at this time of year? Um, you know, you say, like I said, it was a great game to be a part of this experience and be played in the Barclays Center. You know, you can say all the intangibles that are, you know, that make this game, this, this game or this tournament a great game and a great opportunity for us. But like I, like I said, Penn State is a football school. But we, like you said, we want to come out and, and make basketball, you know, something well known and compete and, and be right there next to football. And for St. John's, like you said, they're a great basketball team and great basketball coach they had. And, you know, we just said we just want to come out there and compete and have fun and just show, show our opportunity and show our skills. I mean, you know, that's why we play the game. You know, we listen to what people say that it's a football school, that we might not even come out the locker room. We believe in ourselves. We work hard. And the coach said we believe in attitude. Come out and play our 40 minutes in the shows. Hey, guys. Obviously, it's very stressful in the game, back and forth. But how fun is it just to compete in that sort of environment there? Oh, it's tremendous. You know, to be able to step on the court, and, you know, in itself and play a game of basketball, you know, so a lot of people take that for granted, but you can't, you know, and I think that's what we try not to do every time we step out on the court to give everything we got and, you know, to come out with the win at the outcome, you know, it was, it was great.
you know, we gave it our all, we played the whole 45 minutes, and as much as we could for Penn State basketball, and, and we came out with it.